four, three, two. I'm going to do some celebrity impressions. Uh, this is a celebrity walkathon. She's like, swear to God, I mean, like, why isn't this a dance a thon I mean, it's like a walkathon. Why can't I make it both like a dance and a walkathon? <laughs> uh. Wow, we're all walking. We're all going to the same place. I mean, why don't we just take a bus? It's a bus a thon. We're raising money while we're on the bus. Why don't you take a spaceship? Yeah. Why can't a black man walk around, try to do a walk a -thon? Man, I get scared, try to walk on the crack. Step on the crack, break your mama's back. Uh, how you doing? Uh, here we go. Uh, you know, my mom always told me to, uh, to get a lot of, how you doing, to get some exercise. And so uh, she used to say uh, all the time, she'd say, why don't you go to the store with your mother? <laughs> and, I, <laughs> and I would say, uh, I'd say, uh, why don't you shut up? <laughs> no, Niles could never see me walking on here. I don't like to walk that much. And then again, I kind of like it. No, I don't like it anymore. I hate it. All right, I like it again. No, I don't. OK. Why are we all walking? Why don't we stop walking? When will we stop? Are we waiting for someone to tell us to stop? Because I could do that. I could tell us to stop. Do you ever walk around and you get the Novocaine in the lip and you're walking in your lip, you're actually holding the lip and you're walking and you're sticking the lip in the pockets but you don't know because someone else is saying that you're looking at the lip. And that's my thing for uh, celebrity impressions. I have this uh, one guy called, um, did you ever see guy? Um, and he's also called um, Colin Quinn. You ever go to your local bakery? They don't have the type of bread you want, so you get another kind. And they don't really like that kind, so you want to go back and get another one. But they don't have that one either, because they only had that, they only served it last week. <laughs> you ever see that? You ever, you ever want to get onion rings instead of French fries? They don't have French fries, so you have onion rings, so you try a Coke. And uh, this is uh, Tommy Lee Jones. There's a fugitive on the loose. The name of the fugitive is Dieter Gutboots. He is dangerous. He is mean. We have to get the dogs, sick the dogs on him. The names of the dogs are Scrunchy and Foo Foo. Hello, dogs. Scrunchy here likes to eat a certain type of food. The name of the food he likes to eat is kibbles and bits. And bits and bits. Uh -huh. This is the original character. Um, his name is David Nichols. He's a British uh, TV show host, and his show is all about um, why the UK is better than the US. Hello, I'm David Nichols, and welcome to Tea Time with David Nichols. With me, as always, is my co-host, the ghost of John Lennon. Hello, John. How is it on the other side? Same as it is on this side, only different. Thanks, that's brilliant. Cheers. Um, How's it like being the ghost of a beetle? How's it like not being a ghost of a beetle? Brilliant. Okay. <laughs> and that's the show, and then uh, it kind of so it goes like a regular talk show. Um, then here's a guy named Arthur Lesky. He's like a classic sissy, and he lives with his mother. And he always says, like, he's not much of a something when he talks. I'm not much of a ball player. All right? But I see guys out there playing ball, <laughs> dribbling the ball, and slam dunk it, I yell to them. But they just go out there, they try to do what they can the best, you know? And I'm not much of an ice cream eater, but I will order a Flintstone push-up creamsicle. And it's refreshing. Forget it. OK, that's him. This guy is a, I call this guy Double Take Man, because he gives a double take before he says anything. Hey, what are you doing here? It's great to see you in the mall. This is great. Yeah, I'm just kind of hanging out. Why? What are you doing here, too? Look, I just. That's new shoes, aren't they? They're nice. Wow, they made the small much bigger, didn't they? And that's a double take guy. And then uh, this guy is a, uh, I call this guy wannabe composer. And what he does is when the radio's on, he composes the songs, pretends he's a composer. 
But then when people leave, I mean, when people come into the room, he acts like he's not doing anything. That's that one. And I also do a lot of musical impressions, but I'm going to make them short for you. Because I have a lot of people. So here's a... I'll just do some things. Here's a... You too. Uh. Uh. Riots out in the street. It's Irish Protestants and they cannot march. This is uh, the Counting Crows. Sha la 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 yeah. Whoa, huh? Yeah. I used to date Jennifer Aniston, but that was when the song was a hit. Then she dissed me for this guy named Donovan. There's something I hate him. Now here's uh, the Cure. My tears are like hydrochloric acid, it burns my face. I'm so depressed. I'm on Prozac, I need help. <laughs> then this is uh, the Wallflowers. Everybody knows that I'm Bob Dylan's son. That's how I got to open for the stones. <laughs> this is Alanis Morissette. My voice is annoying, my video's boring, you see only my face. You thought I was finished, but I thought this last verse back at the hotel. Thank you very much. <laughs>